Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to continue exploring the Utilec complex. But before we get into that, I do have two praxes to spend. First thing I want to do is increase my um, my biocell capacity. Because I typically run, like almost always, I'm running super, super low. And I just let it auto recharge to kind of that minimum level. And I don't use biocells very often, so. I'm not entirely certain if this is actually going to increase that kind of minimum threshold to which you automatically recharge. I don't really know how that works, but I'm assuming it will. So let's get that, and also I want to get another quality of life thing. So when it comes to radar, I want to get the range boost. So it makes it so your minimap can see like twice as much. I think that'd be super helpful because right now it's so small. Like, it's really hard to use it for much of anything. Oh yeah, that is way more usable. Because typically, I, like, I look at the map like this, and then I go, oh, like, I want to go up here and go to the right. And then as soon as I close it, the minimap is so zoomed in that I can't relate it to what I just saw on the big map, and I, I just have to keep checking the big map all the time. So that should really help with navigation. Alright, yes, yeah, so we just came from down there. I already explored through that door and over in this direction. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, we just got scanned by this asshole with that security drone up there. <laughs> Welcome to hell. This whole area is so lavishly detailed with just trash and squalor. It's amazing. Just <laughs> random neon drugs just tucked in blankets and stuff and hog parts. Okay. You look like trouble, mister. Stay away from the police. They're looking for someone to blame for the bombing in Prague. It's like some nice steaks or something. Better than the rats that I've seen. Ew, what is that, though? That's just a barrel full of guts. Oh, that can't smell good. Oh, Christ. It's an exoskeleton. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Can I butt in? <laughs> Hope they don't shoot anyone. Anything, mister? Anything? Please help a lady to ease her suffering. They think they have me here, but they don't actually know they have me. They think I'm someone else. <laughs> you know what's really sad is what a lot of these people need, uh, amongst many, many other things, they need neuropathy, and I have six of it in my inventory, and I just, I can't give it to them. Like, there's no way to give it to them. You think my teeth are falling out? Oh god, I'm sorry. Anything, mister? Anything? I say as I loot a biocell from them, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, that's not safe. Candle right next to a blanket. Ooh, look at this wavy. 
thing. This looks so strange. Like, I think it's just plastic that's kind of moving in the wind or something, but it sort of looks like water. You people. Now what? What other lies have you come to tell me? I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko. He's expecting me. Which one? My husband, Dushan? Or his foolish brother, Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. The police took them both to the Narrows to torture them for information they do not have. It's been a rough day, especially here. I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? Like you care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Gollum City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. And maybe there is a chance? There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally they only take ARC members. Tibor is ARC. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing. Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows. Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? I know this is hard for you. This is not about me! This is about my family! I should explain what just popped up there, because that is, strangely enough, the first time that has ever popped up, ever. Uh, that's part of the social enhancer augment that I have. One of the features that it told me existed, but then never used until now, like, 15 hours into the game, is occasionally you're presented with the opportunity to, like, interrupt the conversation or something like that. So that's what just happened, and I think it's a time-limited thing, sort of like, not really a quick time event, but because it is an interrupt, you do have to be pretty fast. And I want to help. Then go and do that. I need to clean up this mess. Yeah, so I guess well, they're looking for their husband, it was, right? They just like completely tossed the place and yeah, just shattered this plays up. I mean, places here don't look very good, but this one looks especially bad. Chicane, we got a problem. Our contact's been swept up by the police. <laughs> I heard about cops in Gollum, Jensen. Your Interpol ID won't get you any kindness with them. That's alright, I didn't bring it with me. They're holding him in a place called the Narrows. I'll contact you after I find him. Ooh. Secrets. Oh, there's probably a new newspaper, right? Yeah, this is totally new. Rabia. A brown new world. What? In a recent interview, Nathaniel... Oh, Nathaniel Brown <laughs> described Rabia as a haven for Augs, further revealing that the self-sufficient city in the desert is costing over $7 million per day to build. Santo CEO seems unperturbed. The idea of Brown being hailed as some kind of business saint is repugnant. Reports out of Rabia paint a picture of indentured og workers ransomed to pittance salaries with promises of a place in paradise. Trouble is, the only people getting tickets are those willing to buy them with Santo's money. Oh, shit. I didn't scroll down, I skipped this part. Anyway, I'll keep reading. The projected capacity of Santo land, uh, sorry, Rabia, is 101,500. There are 7.1 million augmented survivors since the tragic incident. By my reckoning, that's roughly one for every daily dollar spent building a paradise most can't afford. Will Brown make them pay to dig their own graves next? Uh, it's not just the money that keeps me doing what I do. Uh, honey to Brown opined to camera. 
Rabia is giving augmented people all over the world an opportunity to re rebuild their lives and dignity. It's a win-win scenario for everyone and I'm proud to be involved. Inspiring, isn't it? In other news, Brown will attempt to walk on Santo branded water before turning it into wine and toasting his investors. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is a Samus Dot newspaper. So definitely firmly on the side of the resistance. Taiyang Medical, a chip off the old block. Worry not, dear Ogs, for the chip the UN demands you swallow or be damned apparently unobtrusively supports intrinsic nervous control of installed augmentation. What's more, you will now be considered safe against involuntary aberrations in expected behavior. Excellent. This alarmingly dystopian lingo is borrowed directly from documentation written by Tai Young Medical, the chip's manufacturer. The tech giant is no stranger to this kind of controversy either. Wasn't it TYM that supplied a quick fix biochip to repair malfunctioning augmentations back in 2027, only days before the incident occurred? Now barely a year later, here's another quick fix chip from the very same experts. No aberrations in expected behavior from TYM either. Oh, I am loving this new capacity. Yeah, it's, it's staying pretty high up there. Oh, T-Wars computer just security rating 1. Interesting. Surprising. We have 40 seconds to do it. Good afternoon, Mr. Sokol. Please allow me a moment to introduce myself. My name is Zola Matthews. I am the Interpol Witsec. Oh, Witness Security. Agent Director James Miller assigned to your file. I wanted to take this opportunity to inform you that we are actively preparing your file and will be in contact again soon with details of your relocation for you and your family. In the interim, if you have any questions regarding your file, please do not hesitate to contact me. Yara, from Yara, last warning. I don't care if you like to play revolutionary with your ARC friends, I want you to stay away from Drago. The PCR were just here asking questions. Again. Lucky for us, Drago is able to convince them that he is not involved with ARC. I wish you would just listen to your brother and stay out of trouble. Old Blue Eye. Stay sharp, brother. The police are arresting everyone down there and dragging them to their outpost in the Narrows. You need to be careful or you'll end up in a cell again. You are there, or did they get you already? Brother? Um. Uh, let's impersonate. Yes. What the fuck? Yes. You were late. Um, hmm. Delayed by the police? Police are everywhere. I'm not sure I can make it. Lost track of time. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, distract. I was at, delayed by the police. They were asking questions. What questions? They were asking me about Ark and the bombing in Prague. There's no proof of anything. Not for the bombing, not for anything else. If they did have proof, there would be more of them. Use the secret path to get up here and make sure you avoid the police. End of conversation. Huh. Okay, so there's a secret path. And it's somewhere up here, which makes it sound like it's above me, one of the higher floors. So secret path and somewhere up above. Well, I'm pretty good at finding secret paths, so hopefully I'll find it. Yeah, we're just on level three. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. This place is so stressful, holy shit. P 
people dying and misery and police screaming and ugh. <laughs> I'm so rude, I just walk up to some random person listening to the radio and just turn off their radio. Oh Christ. I'm surprised no one's gotten shot yet. Ah, uh, can't get involved. Oh. Okay, everybody ran away. Good. Oh, I just realized if you go into the the smart vision, I can use my um my remote hacking thing through walls, just like you can highlight people through walls. Oh, that's cool. That actually could be really useful in some situations. Pride in Prejudice. The unauthorized biography of Talos Rucker. Before appointing himself the champion of Og Rights worldwide, Talos Rucker was born into privilege to an upper middle class couple in Stuttgart. He excelled in school, and was, according to one effusive teacher, well liked by everyone. It was only natural that with all the advantages the world can offer laid at his feet, this golden boy went on to medical school, where he took his fairy tale to the next chapter, falling in love with a fellow student. The moment the two doctors graduated, they simply could not wait to show the world their enlightened generosity by bringing their white skin and perfect smiles to the third world generously sharing the advantages of their upbringing with the poor, ignorant savages. After losing his lover and his limbs in the Valima Caldera disaster, Rucker discovered a new cause, augmentation, which could restore him to his rightful superiority over the rest of the world. Hmm. So this person's not painting a very good picture of Talos Rucker. Someone with a sort of savior complex, how they see them. I don't want to form any too, like, too strong of an opinion about Talos Rucker. I haven't even met the person yet. I'm sure we will soon. Capture everything. <laughs> Why not? Where are you? Hermanus, I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. How's it coming on your end? Was I right about the wall in your unit? I'll write you back once I've worked out the rest of the plan. Won't be long now. The wall in your unit? That'd be the thing I just busted through. I have a job for you. Seems my contact inside the PCR has decided to change the rules of the little game we play. I won't go into detail, but the result is the police were tipped off about a shipment of goods from the city, and now they have it. You remember the two storage lockers that the PCR used down near the Angel Wings? I have the code for one of them, but getting into the other is up to you. Our deal will be the same as last time. Uh, yes, I'll do it, and I, just, I have just the person to help, too. His unit shares a ventilation duct with a second storage locker. What are the odds, huh? This is almost too perfect. Good. Let me know when it's done. Oh. So that's what's back here. Is there somewhere I can turn off the gas? Are those shoes? Hold on, 
wrong. I'm, I'm missing something back here. Silencer? That might be worth picking up. It's probably worth more than a pistol. Although, both the things I use already have silencers. Yeah, is there somewhere I can go from here? Doesn't, doesn't seem like it. I don't see any structural weaknesses. Nah, I don't get it. I'm out of here. Maybe it was just the silencer. That's a cool looking thing. It's like one of those curly straws that you put in things, except it's glowy. It's a future straw. Okay, uh, it's really hard to keep track of where I've been and where I haven't because this place has so many different levels and it's so cluttered. Mmm, baked Jensen. Actually, more like flame grilled. Oh, this is, yeah, restricted. <laughs> they open up their helmet just to say that. Come on, I am itching to meet another one of you weirdos now. cannot someone do something. Yeah, the door's open, but leads into another restricted area as well. I'm not getting in here cleanly. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, time to go up or down. Unfortunately, the minimap doesn't show ladders and stuff like that. I can go up there. Can I go down over here? No, that goes up. Okay. You could do something about this. Oh, this goes down. Oh, that's down to the narrows, which is where I kind of need to go, right, to find the person I'm trying to find. So they're being held in the narrows. Um. How big is this place? That whole area is restricted. Oh, yeah. So I guess the whole narrows are restricted, huh? Yeah, wow. Okay. Is this like a... Is this a cutscene thing? Oh, just augmented limbs poking out of the trash. I hope those are just spare parts, but they're probably not. almost got stabbed Easy. yesterday. It was my fault. He had a knife, but it looked like he didn't really know how to use it, you know? I keep telling you, if they've got a weapon, give them something and they'll go away. Nothing you've got is worth dying over. That's your opinion. Without my posy, I might as well be dead. Well, yeah, I mean, you need your medication to live. I gave up. Ooh. Is this going to lead behind? Yeah, so that's going to lead to the restricted area. Okay. But that's where I'm supposed to go. So, of course I'm not going to go there just yet. And that is still where we're supposed to head, right? Yeah, find them in the narrows. Yeah, let's knock out there yet. Lives by telling us this, Hanser. Oh, yeah, I'm a regular hero. I bet they will have a statue of me in the town square and everything. If your sister is with Ark, we are the only people who can help her. I have seen the way you help people hoarding all the posy and then handing it out as a reward when we stab each other in the back. Little late for that now, isn't it? Shit. I had to tell the police. I had to. I need the posy. The clinic's only giving out half doses this week. Why is everything so damp here? Why is everything so damp here? This TV's covered in blood. Oh, I can extend that window. 
I love that it's dual purpose. It also it allows you to get up there, and also there's stuff inside. Gun cage code. Chuba, be advised that the gun cage is part of your regular patrol now. We've had reports of golem rats sniffing around, so keep a close watch. Last thing we need is for one of these people to get in there and arm themselves. Code for the door is 0190. Check it and log in, log it on the hour and keep your eyes out for trouble. Lieutenant Manda. Give me some news. What should I do? First, all the trouble with the eviction, and now this. Hmm, someone's gone missing. Uh, I'm gonna break out of Golem tonight. Wait, is this from the same person? No, this is from... Olivier Berthelot. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Berthelot. Have I seen that name before? Hmm. Yeah, from them to Angelfire. Which, obviously must be this person um, and then after this it's from angel fire so this person saying I'm gonna break out of golem tonight took a while to find some suitable hardware but I got my hands on a police piece sec with the code to one of their weapon lockers keep trying to reach her Olivier so help me God the Diwali's will regret the day we met good God hearing you now makes me realize I was married to a stranger all those years you scare me Mary what if it's too late I already tried contacting her again, but her address came back as unknown. It's like she's vanished off the face of the earth. So help me, I'll never forgive you if anything happens to our little girl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have some information somewhere deep within my stuff for birth lot. I just looked through the pocket secretaries and the emails and I didn't see anything, but I don't know. I went through it pretty fast because there's so many different entries to look at. It really does sound familiar. Is very well hidden. Can also go up another level though. Ah, let's just stick to this level for now. This place is giving me anxiety, just not because of just how disturbing the place is and noise filled, but also the fact that it's really hard to tell where I've been before. Whoa. We going into oh we're back here in the restricted zone cool yeah there's nobody in here so we're we're good look at all this food wait a minute so they're this is a restricted zone so they're protecting the food supply, aren't they? Uh, I'd say worst case scenario, they're just keeping all food from everybody, which wouldn't surprise me. Best case scenario, they're trying to ration it and protect it and make sure nobody raids it, but I very much doubt that. Also, those are some big ass carrots. Wow. GMOs of the future. Got the password for this. Cool. This is the good stuff. Laser targeting system. Oh, oh! I want one of those for my um, my stun gun. Yeah, uh, let's drop the machine pistol. 
please tell me it can use it. Yes, it can. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, so yeah, now I can finally see the exact range of it. It is... Yeah, it has a super short range. Which is to be expected. I mean, it is a stun gun after all. Cool. Weapon mods seem to be really rare. Whoa, Praxis Kit! Awesome! I just realized what that was. For a second I thought it was like a weird glitchy bottle that is just for some reason inside of this grain or rice or whatever. But no, it's actually got a cutaway in it. It's just like a, a makeshift scoop. That's pretty cool. A very practical little improvisation. Neuropazine. Oh, so this is where you turn off the power to the electricity over there, but you can't actually access the area from here. I wonder what's over there. Some laser grids down there. Might lead to the narrows, possibly. Oh, another neuropazine. God, I've got so much. I wish I could give it to people. Yeah, let's see if the narrows is beneath us. It is. Yeah, that's the narrows down there. Detention center. Yep. Everything on level 2. Well, pretty much everything on level 2. And level 1 is the narrows. So if we can find another way into there, that might help us get to the narrows. Okay, we got everything in here. Yep, we don't want to go through the front door. Is this where it came from? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could get up here. Excuse me. So much verticality to this place. Much more than even the uh, districts we were in before. Ooh, can I get up there? Oh, no. Oh, whoop. Ah. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I continue, gonna keep on going through the Utilette complex.